and happy Monday and welcome to Thanksgiving week. What? I'm so excited for Thanksgiving week and I hope you are too because you know that coming this week I get pie and that makes me so happy. <laughs> so I wanted to come on here with you guys. I know I sent home stuff for Thanksgiving week so I wanted to make sure that I went over it with you what I sent home and then I have a little story to read with you today um, about the story of Thanksgiving. So I wanted to come on here and make sure you knew what was going on. So I'm just going to go over what you have and kind of tell you what to do on them. But then otherwise I'll let you work on them. So this is a um, pattern paper. And so you can see how it's like corn, corn, turkey, turkey. What would come next? This one is like turkey, corn, turkey, corn. Which one would be next? Okay. So you're going to complete the pattern on that one. And then you have another one that says label the pilgrim boy and label the pilgrim girl or the Native American girl and it has their different parts. We've talked about labeling with pictures and how we can pick out things inside of a picture. So you can see how it has those the like the word shapes though like the letter shapes so you can kind of tell and label the different parts of them. We are going to read a story so you might find out more about these in a few minutes so if you want to wait to do those but those you're just practicing labeling a picture because we've been talking about that in reading. The next thing that you have, it's two pieces. It looks like this and it says Thanksgiving. I'm sorry that my words are backwards. I'm using my other computer right now. So if they're backwards, I'm sorry. But this is the letter mix up and then it has all of the word, all of the letters that spell Thanksgiving. And you can cut these out and you can mix these up to make different words. So like I can make the word hat with H-A-T. I can mix them up. You don't have to make the word Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving can be one of your words, but you get to mix up these letters and see how many words you can make out of them. So like if I found the word hat, then on number one I could write H-A-T, hat. So you get to cut these out, mix them all up, see how many words you can make. Another paper that you have, yours is two-sided, mine is, I have it separated but yours is two-sided so um, it is some um, Thanksgiving math and some turkey math so this has our 10 frames that we've talked about it has our 10 frames and they're missing some turkey so you have to count up or find the missing part how many more turkeys do you need to fill up that 10 frame how many more do you need to make to 10 so this is a good finding the missing part and then on the back these have some letter names and it has like them written out in word form so you're going to see if you can find the matching numbers and glue them to the correct spelling of those numbers. So like the number nine is spelled N-I-N-E, nine. So can you find the number nine and match it to which spelling is correct? Okay, so that's a good math one. So those are all of your papers that got sent home with you today. But first I'm going to read you a story called The Story of Thanksgiving, the story of Thanksgiving. To give you a little background on why we have Thanksgiving and how it started. The pilgrims were from England. They came to America on a boat in 1620. The boat was called the Mayflower. Have you heard of the Mayflower before? Yeah, they came over exploring. They came from England and they came on a big boat. The pilgrims did not have much. The winter was very cold and hard. They needed help. So once they got here, they were not quite sure what to do. There was nothing here yet. So it was pretty cold and chilly when they came. They met the Native Americans. The Native Americans taught the pilgrims how to farm and how to get food. So the Native Americans helped the pilgrims learn how to do all sorts of things to make homes and to get food. The pilgrims were thankful for the food to eat. They had a feast with turkey, corn, and pumpkin because that is what they had learned to get when they could come over to the Indians and show them how to get that food. So they showed thanks by eating and making a big feast of all the things they had learned to, to grow and to get when they came over here that the Indians helped them. We celebrate Thanksgiving in November by giving thanks for all that we have. And then the last page says, what are you thankful for? So that's kind of a background story on the story of Thanksgiving, that the pilgrims came over 
they came over to, they didn't know what to do. And luckily the Indians lived here, the Native Americans lived here. And they helped them learn how to build things, how to hunt for things, how to grow things. Because the pilgrims otherwise had nothing to eat, nothing to live in. So um, the Native Americans really helped them learn about America. And so this feast was celebration of how thankful they were for the help and for good friends and for family. And that's why we do it too. We just celebrate everything that we're thankful for in this time. So there's their Thanksgiving feast right over there. So yeah, I just wanted you to see that and kind of hear the story of Thanksgiving. If Some of you probably do know, but some of you might not know. So I wanted to share it with you. So those are your pages that you can work on today. They're all Thanksgiving themed. There was our story for the day, and then I will still have a seesaw activity posted below that you can do to check in with me, take attendance, and then we will Zoom sometime later this afternoon to check in, see if you have any questions, or just to say hello. So I will see you guys soon. Have a great day, and I'll see you this afternoon. Bye!